In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Today we are celebrating the memorial of Saint Agatha, Virgin and Martyr. And so to prepare ourselves for, to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first call to mind our sins. Let us be sorry for them and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyrs, Saint Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray. For she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, because that was the most renowned high place. Upon its altar, Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, You have shown great favor to your servant, my father David, because he behaved faithfully toward you, with justice and an upright heart, and you have continued this great favor toward him even today, sitting a son of his on his throne. O Lord, my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David, but I am a mere youth not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, and an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right. I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now, and after you there will come no one to equal you. In addition, I give a young man be faultless in his way by keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. 
With all my heart, I seek you. Let me not stray. Your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Friends, brothers, and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at doon sa mga sumusubaybay sa atin via live stream, whichever part of the world they may be. Mga kapatid, sa ating panahon ngayon, marami ang nagsasabi na kulang daw ang 24 oras para gawing lahat ang gusto nating mangyari sa ating buhay. Pag-isipan niyo yun, ha? Pag-isipan natin. With all the modern gadgets, palagay ko ho lahat ng mga naandito ngayon sa simbahan may mga cellphones. Di ba ba? Ano-ano pang gadgets, makikita nyo yung mga kabataan, meron pa dito yan, wireless. Di ba? Gusto natin maging connected 24-7. Di ba? Hindi naman natin pinapatay yung ating mga telepono. Tama po ba? Ako lalo na yung mga pilgrims siguro para malaman ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay mga naiwan nila sa bahay, o oh, andito na ako sa manawag. Kahit text, kahit hindi telefono. We want to be connected. So walang tulugan, kahit natutulog, naka-on yung ating mga cellphones. Walang interruptions whatsoever, ika nga. Kung pwede nga lang, sabi ng karamihan, huwag nang matulog o huwag nang kumain. Minsan pa nga ay ginagawa ng mga padre de familia ang gabi bilang araw para kumita ng dagdag sa 8 to 5 na trabaho nila. Nowadays, meron pa tayong tinatawag na multitasking. Alam niyo ba yung multitasking? Hindi lamang isang activity ang ginagawa sa isang period of time. Marami. Ang mga nanay, ang mga ginang tang ng tahanan ay sanay diyan. Di ba? Yung mga nanay dito, alam niyo kung ano yung multitasking. Halimbawa kayo nagsasaing o may nakasalang, pwede pang mamlansya, di ba? Pwede pang makipagkamustahan sa kapitbahay sa mga kaibigan. O habang hindi pa kumukulo yung nakasalang sa, sa stove, we can still do something. At uh, nung nauso po dahil sa pandemic ang mga Zoom meetings at Zoom classes, nakaimbento tayo. Siguro naman lahat ng tao sa mundo ay hindi nang ginagawa. Kapag ka, halimbawa, nagbi-meeting, 
meeting, lalong lalo na sa meeting, mahirap sa klase eh. Kapag ka sa meeting, si switch off mo lang yung camera, yung audio lang ang matitira. So naririnig mo kung anong pinag-uusapan. Pwede ka pang mamlansya, di ba? Pwede ka pang maglinis ng kwarto mo. At naririnig mo pa yung anong nangyayari sa meeting. Naka-on lang yung audio. But there's really nothing we can do about it. Diba? How many hours are there in one day? 24. How many days are there in one week? Seven. Nadadagdagan ba yan? O madadagdagan ba yan? Hindi. Hindi kagaya yan ng ating mga lansangan. Pwede tayo maglagay ng skyway. So dalawa na yung uh, dadaanan ng mga sasakyan kung matraffic. Sa isang araw, kung bibilangin natin, ideally, sa natin ginugugol o ginagamit sa 8 hours, kadalasan kung tayo ay merong regular job o trabaho, 8 to 5, di po ba? Ano yung 8 hours na susunod? Matulog. Kailangan matulog. Kailangan ng pahinga ng ating katawan, ng ating utak. Our bodies need to rest, so that's already 16 hours. Ang natitira na lamang ay walong oras. E kasama dyan sa natitirang walong oras yung commute. E kapag sinabi natin commute, lalong-lalo na sa mga highly urbanized cities, matraffic. O alam na natin yan sa EDSA. Ano ba ang uh, speed na pwede mong gabitin? hindi ka lalampas ng 20 kilometers per hour. In other words, going to and from your work can easily consume, what, two hours? Mabilis na yun. Kumisan three, kumisan four. So, apat na oras na lang ang natitira doon sa residual sa ating 24 hours. Yan ay ginugugol natin sa exercise, pamamalengke, uh, other things like consultation sa mga doktor o mga meetings, hindi po ba? So, 24 hours, eh kaso kag gusto natin 24-7, lagi tayong mulat. Marami na nga ngayon ang mga, lans, ang mga lungsod na tinatawag na the city that never sleeps. Okay po ba yun sa atin? Hindi. Kailangan pa rin natin matulog. In today's gospel, which is far removed from our very busy schedule nung panahong yun, medyo simple pa ang buhay eh, di ba? Sa panahon ni Jesus. And yet, naka-experience din sila ng na-experience natin sa ating kapanahonan. They had no opportunity even to eat. Meron nyo yun? Siguro nararanasan din natin yan ano, kumisang pagka talagang napakarami nating trabaho o pinagkakaabalahan. Lumalampas yung oras ng tanghalian o kung ano man. No? O kung minsan hindi na tayo nagbe-breakfast, diretsyo na sa trabaho. Yun. And maniningil ho yan sa atin later on. Sa sobrang kabisihan, kadalasan lipas ng gutom ang nangyayari. Kaya nga ang dami ngayon may mga ulcer o hyperacidity na tinatawag. So Jesus knew what was happening to the apostles, kaya nga nagsuggest siya, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. Magpahinga. Kahit nga sa Genesis makikita natin, di ba, nung nag-create ang, ang Diyos ng mundo. On the seventh day, He rested. Pahinga. Mahalaga ang pahinga. Halimbawa, yung mga pilgrims na naandito ngayon for Saturday of the month, usually maraming pilgrims ang nag, uh, nagpapanata o nangako na pupunta sila sa Shrine of Our Lady of Manawag every first Saturday. Siguro, that is also their time for rest, to go to Manawag and say their prayers and thanksgiving and uh, petitions, di ba? Jesus knew that the apostles have to pause for a short while in order to take an inventory of what they have done during the day. Magpahinga for some nourishment, di ba? Rest and recreation. Kaya nga tinatawag natin recreate. Pwede tayong maubos. Wala naman sigurong super, superman sa atin na hindi napapagod, di ba? Kahit nga yung mga superheroes eh. Meron silang ginagawa para hindi sila maubusan ng energy. 
magpahinga, balik tanawan ang mga nangyari sa isang araw. Sabi nga ng isang philosopher, an unreflected life is not worth living. Kapag hindi tayo uh, nagmuni-muni, kapag hindi natin na pag-isipan yung mga nangyari, kahit sa isang araw lamang, parang tayo mga makina, di ba? Trabaho lang tayo ng trabaho, giling lang tayo ng giling. Sometimes we go from one experience to another, one after another. Remember, the waking hours devoted to us, eight hours at most 16. Eh, ang dami nating activities, di ba? Kung minsan, ang mga experiences na yan, dumadaan lang ang mabilis. Eh, ang mas mahalaga sa experience ay yung meaning ng experience. Di ba? Kaya nga, ano ba, pupunta tayo sa Manawag. O ano bang gusto natin mangyari sa araw na ito as a pilgrimage? To have some time, di ba? To reflect, to pray, to thank God for the many graces that, that He has given us. We devote time, di ba? Karamihan sa atin kung saan saan pananggaling, gumising ng maaga to be here. Pero nagmamadali din pag-uwi, o di ba? Para makauwi, para hindi ma-traffic, etc., etc. So we have to find the meaning of our experiences day in and day out. Ano bang nangyari? Ano bang nangyari sa aking buhay? Pagka nagre-reflect tayo at nagbabalik tanaw, Siguro kasama sa pagbabalik tanaw na yan ay ano bang nagawa kong mabuti today, di ba? Or kung minsan, ano ba yung medyo kailangang i-improve pa? Meron ba akong nasaktan? Meron ba akong natapakan? Meron ba akong medyo inignore, di ba? By my words or by my deeds or yung inaction ko, meron ba akong hindi napansin, di ba? To rest a while, ang magpahinga, hindi ibig sabihin ay do nothing. Wala kang gagawin, nga nga lang. Hindi. To rest a while is to recreate. As human beings, bilang mga tao, we have that inner or innate capacity to introspect and reflect. To become better persons. To become better persons than we were yesterday. Ang tawag ng karamihan dyan ngayon ay nagmo-moments, di ba? Kapag ka kayo nagmo-moments, maaari ngayon nagmo-moments kayo, nakikinig kayo sa akin. We are able to appreciate the gifts that God has given us. We affirm ourselves. For example, ngayong umaga, siguro we take it for granted that we wake up in the morning. We, are, we don't realize, wow, I'm still alive, di ba? Yung iba na andito para humingi ng healing. Kung minsan pagka ako yung nagdadaan sa blessing, tatanungin ko, ba't kayo nandito? Father, stage 4 po ako. Alam nyo yun, di ba? Pagka stage 4 cancer, wala nang lalampas pa sa stage 4. So in other words, masaya yung tao sapagkat siya ay buhay pa in spite of yung pagiging stage 4 cancer patient. Wow, I am alive today. Thanks be to God. Pero kapag ka we realize that we have fallen short, hindi naman tayo perfecto eh, di ba? Kuminsan, we don't give 100% of ourselves sa ating ginagawa. Parang sa ating gusto na natin yung tama na yan, pwede na yan. So we have to improve and become better. Kung hindi natin naibigay ang 100% ng ating sarili sa ating ginagawa, there is always a chance to become better and be perfect. Hindi instantly maging perfect. Kahit na for, for example today, 90% lang yung binigay natin. Bukas, pwede maging 95, pwede maging 100. We have to accept the fact that we are always beings in the process of perfection. And to become perfect always takes a while, di ba? mag -e effort din tayo, and also with the grace of God. Towards the end of the gospel, we saw that the crowds arrived earlier on foot. E yung mga apostles, sumakay pa sila ng bangka. And Jesus was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. Nakakaawa, di ba? Kagayo nung 
nakaraang Pasko, marami pong mga pilgrims na nagpunta rito, e eh, pandemya. Mahaba ho ang pila, umiikot sa bakod ng manawag. I, I think that is also how G- Jesus would feel kung makikita niya yung mga taong nakapila, nagtatyaga, nakapayong, mainit, naghihintay ng makapasok ng manawag. They wanted something. They needed something. They have to be here. Jesus began to teach them many things. So it looks like that Jesus was also not able to rest or to eat. For Jesus and the apostles, and also for us, it is not a choice between rest or contemplation or prayer versus compassion. As St. Vincent de Paul said, there should be no question in our minds to choose compassion. Jesus had pity on the crowds that followed them to that deserted place. Sabi ni St. Vincent, if someone is knocking at the convent door, asking for bread or any kind of help, no doubt we have to leave our prayer. We have to leave our reflection and contemplation and attend to the person in need. After which, we can return to our prayer and contemplation. So ultimately, bottom line, charity takes over contemplation. We now stand to over, offer our prayers and petitions. <clears throat> aware of the need to escape from the demanding activity of life in order to strengthen and restore our inner spirit, we approach God the Father in humble prayer. For each petition we shall say, Shepherd your people, O Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord, that those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That we who are burdened with heavy work may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That through the intercession of Mary, the sick may find healing from their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Shepherd your people, O Lord. Let us pause for a few moments of meaningful silence to offer our own personal and particular intentions and the intentions of the people who are also here with us. Sabi ng Panginoon, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there with them. For all these intentions, Lord, we pray, shepherd, shepherd your, your people, people, O Lord. Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Please stand. Let us pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sagot po kayo ng malakas, ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Agatha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa pong lahat, peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. So let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. 
Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may also attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, salamat po sa inyong uh, pag-celebrate with us this Holy Eucharist on this first Saturday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We hope that you continue to praying for us here who are assigned in the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag as we also try our best to promise that we will also be praying for you and your own intentions. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At kagaya ng pagbati ko sa inyo ng the Lord be with you, pakipansin naman po ang inyong mga, ang mga tao sa inyong paligid, pakibaunan din sila ng the Lord be with you bago tayo magkahiwahiwalay. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have offered the Eucharist, we go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters present here and elsewhere in the world who are joining us in this Mass. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.